how's it going? So this month I wanted to do something that pretty much anyone can play. So whether you're a complete beginner or a more advanced guitarist, you can do this little lick that I made and sort of understand how it works. Um, now depending on what level you're at, you might find this interesting, you might not find this interesting, but it's used, the sort of same idea that I'm going to be showing you here is used in a lot of songs. So um, just take a look here and see what you can get from it, okay? So what I'm basically doing here is a two-string riff. Okay, so we're starting with the open fifth string, which is the A string. So there's no finger put on that string. Now what we're going to do, and you can use any finger you want, I'm not going to tell you which finger to use. I use my ring finger though for the first note. The 11th fret on the 4th string. Okay, so the D string, 11th fret. Um, so that's my first note. And what we're going to be doing is basically going from the 11th fret to the 9th fret. So I use my first finger for that one. But if you want to use the same finger, if you're just starting out, use the same finger to go up and down. Um, and if you're more advanced, if you want to just play with this idea and start making a more more developed riff, totally go ahead, okay? So basically the first uh, little riff is over the A major chord. So we have the open A, 5th string, and the first note here, 11th fret, okay? So we're going to play this twice. So the 11th fret twice with the open 5th string, and the 9th fret twice. So we have... Okay, then we're going to go back to the 11th fret, then to the 9th fret again. So twice, or sorry, three times to start off. I'm wrong on that one. So the 11th, 11th fret on the 4th uh, string with the open 5th string as well, three times. And then the 9th fret twice. And then back twice to the 11th fret, and once to the 9th fret. So we have three, two, two, one. Okay, so that makes a full eight eighth notes or one measure as we go through that. And I'll slow it down so you can hear it a little slower. Okay, so we have 11, 11, 11, 9, 9, 11, 11, 9. All right, so that's going to be done twice on the A chord. I'm just doing down strums with my pick, nothing complicated, all on beats. Everything has to be a constant beat there. Now what I do when the actual progression goes to a D chord, I just move the same riff down to the third string. So my 11th fret is on the third string, and the open fourth string is played. It's the same amount, twice in a row, okay? Same picking and everything. The beauty about this riff is once we go to the fourth string, or the second part of the riff on the D chord. Uh, basically, if you still hear the fifth string in there, because a lot of times it's really hard to mute this stuff out when you're first starting, uh, when you go there and you hear the fifth string open, it will still sound good. So for the D chord, the open A, which is the fifth string, will still sound good, and you don't have to worry too much about muting with your right or left hand. It's all just gonna come together and sound pretty good. So from the start, I'll play it all together, okay? So twice on the A chord, the A riff, and twice on the D chord of the D riff. So we have So if you're a more advanced guitarist and want to know the theory behind that, we're basically playing the root note and the third interval, or the major third of the chord. So those are two chord tones, and we're going back and forth between the third and the second. Now if you're starting out, don't worry about what I just said, because it makes no sense. Alright, so basically play that riff over and over, see what you can come up with. As a more advanced guitarist, you can start playing with it like... Added different notes in up and down and use your ear just to hear different uh, notes within the A major scale or the D major scale. 